Hey everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from Project Plan and it was the UK Planner Addicts kit. I've also pulled in my own date covers just because I wanted to try them out as I'm thinking about bringing different kind of date covers into the shop. So that's why I'm using them this week and that was just a quick flip through of the kit. I've also somehow broken my planner. I have no idea how this happened. I picked it up the other day and it was broken. I'm not sure how to fix it or if it can be fixed. Um, let me know down in the comments if any of you guys have ever fixed a coil in your planner uh, or the disc in your planner, sorry. At the moment, I've kind of got it taped together with a bit of washi. It's kind of a bit like, um, you know, when you think of nerd glasses, they're kind of taped in the middle with a plaster. That's kind of what my planner's looking like. So I guess I'm a bit of a planner nerd now. So yeah, but it's been held together with washi at the moment. So I started the spread off by just using my date covers along the top and in her kits it came with these really thin pieces of washi. So I just used those to cover up the days of the week. So I'm going to be setting up my planner as I did a couple of weeks ago with all the checklists at the top. Um, I didn't really get much work done. Last week was half term and my sister had her baby the week before. She had a little boy and she hasn't been doing very well and the baby hasn't been very well so I was helping her a lot last week which is why I didn't manage to get a plan with me up last week. Um, but she is at the hospital today and then I think if she's home and everything is okay, it's all kind of getting normal, if that makes sense. So hopefully I'll be able to um, get some work done this week. So I'm setting it up like I did before with the checklist at the top and that way I can just write down everything that I want to get done for my shop. So once I put all of those down, I'm going to go in day by day. So I'm starting with obviously filming this plan with me. So I just used a film sticker, which is from my shop and a little love heart poppet or a love poppet and put down plan with me. And then underneath that, I wanted to mark that my children go back to school today. So I used a little poppet that's crying and just wrote back to school on a half box. I'm also going to want to edit the video so I just used another script sticker from my shop with the edit and upload and I also put one of the PC poppets down and then at the bottom there my daughter's going to need to study as she's got another week of exams this week. The pen that I'm using before I forget to tell you is a black uniball pen and it's in uh, 1.0. So for Tuesday I put down a book sticker which is from Scribble Prince Co and I just wrote down exam, she's got English and geography on this day. I also need to do a food shop so I took one of the poppets from the home life sheet and just wrote down food shop. I put a thick piece of washi down just to cover up the green line and put down a tidy sticker with another poppet from the home life sheet. I took a half box and another PC poppet as I have got a lot of custom orders. There seems to be a flurry of custom orders. So I want to try and get all of those done on Tuesday if I can. And of course I'll be watching a TV program and I'm going to be watching Rain as I've just finished Gilmore Girls and I'm very sad about it. So um, I won't be watching that this week, but I know that there's another series of it or it's a year in the life so I might start watching that soon but this week I'm just going to be watching rain and then I put another little things down for my daughter to study and then for Wednesday I put down a clean script sticker from my shop and another poppet from the home life sheet and then I write down that I'm going to be chained to my desk the whole entire day because I really do need to have a really big catch up especially if I've had like a week and a half now I think it is um, away from my shop so I just need to get my hair back in the game and get back to doing what I love. And then underneath there she had one of the washies that are kind of a patterned or a picture washi and sometimes I use these in my sidebar and sometimes I just don't use them so I thought I would just put them all together here just to block off some time as like I said I'm just going to be doing work all day and I also want to post some orders out as well so I just used these foil stickers which was from JD's Crafts and I just wrote down to post some orders. Thank you. 
And then flipping it over to the next half of the week, I just put down my today headers and the weekend banner. And then on Thursday, my daughter's got another exam, which is a maths exam, so I used another book from Scribble Pins Co. And it's also my mum and dad's wedding anniversary, so I just put a half box down with some puppets from the wedding sheet and just wrote down mum and dad's wedding anniversary. I also need to go through and organise all of my stickers, they kind of got a little bit jumbled up and not all in the right place so I just put a piece of washi down and an organised script sticker from my shop and just wrote down to organise those. And then underneath that I want to do some designing so I took a quarter box with a little happy poppet and wrote down to design. Then I put down three little things, one is to watch rain, the other is for my daughter to study and I've also got some happy mail that's due in on Thursday. And then for Friday it's my cousin's birthday so I just put down a half box with a puppet from the birthday part two sheet and just wrote down Soren birthday. My daughter's also got an exam on this day, she's got her English exam so I took another book and just wrote down which exam she has. And then my camera kind of cut out and I didn't realise but I just took one of the movie marquees and wrote down new release. I used to do this it seems forever ago, whenever there was a movie marquee I would just use that to write down my new releases. So i done that for this week and then I took a quarter box which was from the um, family poppet sheet just to write down that I wanted to print and cut. I then put down two pieces of thin washi and another script from my shop saying film to film for next week and then obviously I'm going to be watching rain and also my daughter will need to study again. So moving on to the weekend, I realised I had not used any full boxes. I don't think that has ever happened to me before. Maybe it's because this isn't my usual way of planning and I don't know, I just... It's so odd to me that I didn't use any full boxes and not only that, I didn't even realise until I got to the weekend. But anyway, on Saturday I wanted to mark that I wanted to have a sleep in or a lay in. So I used one of the larger poppets from the PJ sheet and underneath that I've put a half box. It's actually a broom little icon that I've got there but it kind of looks like a paintbrush. Maybe not, but I've used it and as a paintbrush because I want to paint my toy box that's in my son's room and also his desk. And then obviously I want my children to do their homework, so I just used a page flag and wrote down homework. And of course I'm going to want to edit next week's plan with me, so I just put that on a piece of washi. For Sunday we're going to be having a day out, so I took one of my little love poppets and just trimmed his body off, I've done a little bit of sticker surgery and just used the head and then underneath there I just put down the half box to write down that we were going to somewhere called Grimes Graves which is actually a prehistoric flint mine I believe and you can go down into one of the mines and it looks like a cool day so I put that down onto a half box and I used some of the family poppets and then lastly I put down my usual checklist. So flipping it over to the weekend, I didn't want to use a full box and then have only used one full box which just seems a bit of a waste. So I took the bottom washi which I also hadn't used and kind of patched it up but I didn't like how bodged together it looked. So I took all of that off again and then decided to use just one piece of the bottom washi just to cover up the numbers of the calendar. I then just trimmed this down to size and I used some of the thin washi that came with the kit that I used earlier and just put this on top to cover up the days of the week on the calendar. And then I used another bit underneath. This saved me just using one full box and then having seven left over which would have been a bit of a waste I think so I just patched it up that way and then I put down my habit tracker my next week section as always I've decided to have a bit an Etsy section this week as well just so I can keep an eye on my Etsy shop to help me get back onto track and then at the bottom there to fill it up I just used a half box so I went up to the top and just wrote a quote at the top just so it kind of looks like a full box rather than just a piece of washi that I've stuck there and it just says start each day with a grateful heart. 
And then to match it in, I decided to do another quote on the half box at the bottom and that one just says, enjoy every moment. I then went back and just filled it in next week. So my daughter's got more exams and it's my friend's birthday and my cousin's birthday next week as well. So that finished off the sidebar and that's pretty much it for this week. Here's everything that I've got left. Obviously, like I said, I didn't use any full boxes which I think must go down in history as a planner, not using any full boxes. But anyway, so I've got a whole sheet of those and here is everything else that I've got left. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and make sure you leave me any comments down below. So here's a close-up of this week's spread. I'll leave a link down to Project Plan's Etsy shop down in the comments so you can go and check her out. I hope you guys are having a really lovely week so far and I will see you next Monday. Bye guys.